Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are headed in for a Kroger haul today. We're going to find some new products in there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. What are y'all eating for dinner tonight? We are having a black bean rice bowl. It's like a chipotle lime black bean rice bowl. It's a vegan meal, but kind of like taco-y inspired. If you guys have never tried these dressings before, you have to, especially this lemon garlic one. But I saw this honey poppy seed one, and I thought that would be great for like summertime for like a strawberry spinach poppy seed salad. The lemon garlic one is good on pretty much anything. Um, they also have really good ranches in this brand, but they do contain eggs. So if you're looking for one that doesn't contain eggs, this Follow Your Heart Ranch is incredible as well. I have never seen this before, but I thought it was interesting. Um, and this one's on sale. They have these Just Add Chicken Kits. Basically, it's like a salad kit, and then you just add like some grilled chicken on top. So I thought that was a good idea in case you're in like a food rut or something like that, or maybe you need a quick lunch that you can make at home. This one is lemon herb, and this one is sweet orange. Almost forgot this one down here. They have a pesto Caesar too, which sounds so good. <laughs> Apparently I have been living under the radar because they have a bunch of these chopped kits here, kind of like the one that I just showed you with the just add chicken. They've got these avocado ranch ones, Thai chili mango, which sounds kind of different and fun to me. They have a broccoli crunch one, which kind of reminds me of sweet tomatoes. You know how they have that broccoli salad that everybody loves? And then they have this maple, bur maple bourbon bacon one, salsa ranch, and a sunflower crunch one. I honestly am a sucker for any kind of chopped kits like this. They've got Buffalo Ranch up here, Caesar, and roasted garlic. I think they make dinner so, so simple and easy. The only thing is that sometimes they're not completely allergy friendly and they're definitely marked up with the price. You are paying for convenience for everything to be included. So it's definitely cheaper if you buy the things on your own. But anyways, if you're not looking out for allergens, I think this is a great idea. As for me, the very first thing that I'm actually putting in the cart today is a green bell pepper. We're using this for our, what is it? White chicken chili this week. And and I just need one of them. So I'm gonna grab this organic kind. It's $1.29 each, kind of pricey, but whatever. So we are doing Easter brunch and by the time you guys see this, Easter will be like long gone, but I need some extra berries. I actually bought them in advance from Costco and we're just gonna go through them on our own, honestly. And I don't mind because it's a great snack for Logie Bear. So I'm gonna pick out a few of them. I'm thinking I'll grab an organic strawberry, probably a small organic blueberry, and then maybe even a blackberry because I think that would be fun to switch things up. We're using these on top of like our pancakes and waffles that we're making for Easter morning. I was even thinking it would be fun to make like a strawberry compote to go on top, like in place of syrup. Grapes were definitely not on my list, but they're $2.99 a pound right now. They actually don't have any kind of organic green grapes that I can see. And the boys prefer green grapes, like over red grapes or even the, I think these are called black grapes, even though they look dark purple to me. Anybody else? These feel somewhat okay. <laughs> like they're pretty crisp. I prefer mine like really crisp, honestly, but we just don't like a soft grape. Well, I'm thinking this bag looks pretty good. One of the main things that I came here for was Derek's crush soda. He is trying to get off Pepsi again, which he is off Pepsi, but now he wants to drink crush, which he usually does one or the other. He just kind of goes back and forth between the two of them. So I'm gonna grab the crush right here. I just got here. They only have them in cans. So I'm gonna grab cans and right now they're four for 11, which is not a terrible deal. I was just at Target earlier this morning and I was gonna buy the crush there, but they were three for 12. So four for 11, way better deal. Totally random, but we need some rice paper rolls for this week. Um, we are actually, making some well they're <laughs> like rice paper rolls like spring rolls basically so I grabbed a pack of these guys they have 14 to 16 of them in there they're non-gmo they're not organic which I would love to see with rice these ones are not organic and neither are these ones even though on this packaging it says organic but this is not the same product so anyways I grabbed some of those guys and hopefully they will work out for us I was hoping this like gimme organic brand was going to have some kind of rice paper rolls, but I'm not seeing them. I have to tell you guys this story as like a warning. So I was in the produce section, noticed this woman who was coughing and sneezing, which we all are a little bit more sensitive to right now. She takes off her mask, blows her nose, and then proceeds to touch other produce without putting on hand sanitizer and then throws her like dirty wipe or whatever that she wiped her nose with in the cart. So. Make sure you are sanitizing your carts. <laughs> Make sure you're sanitizing your hands. Make sure you're not touching your face as much as you can. I know it's hard. I even do the same thing. I have to like remind myself, but this is also why it's important to wash our produce when we get home, even if it's organic. 
I'm also gonna go ahead and grab some of this Kite Hill cream cheese. We just got some cinnamon raisin bagels that I think will go great with this. Also, I'm going to be using this in a soup recipe. I wish it was still on sale, it's not, but this is by far like the best cream cheese I've tried and best ingredients, especially out of the two that are on the other side of it. Just more wholesome ingredients in that one. This Daya one is on sale. Some of you out there may like it, but honestly, it was probably the worst cream cheese I've ever tried. I had to choke it down and then I was like, it's just not even worth it. There's a few things in here that I'm like, ooh, maybe I should point these out. So I've heard really good things about the Siete Cashew Queso. This is by the same brand that we love in the tortillas, the ones that I get, I'm about to actually go and get them. They're frozen. I've heard really good things about this. They have the mild nacho and the spicy blanco here. Another thing that caught my eye, these are called vegan breakfast burritos. It says it's baked seasoned tofu, roasted potatoes, and vegan cheddar. I thought that was a great idea. I've never seen these before, not frozen. There are a couple, well, maybe like one vegan option. I don't know if this one's gluten-free. It doesn't say gluten-free, but I thought that was a great idea. Well, dang it. Remember those Siete tortillas I was literally just talking about? They're out, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna skip the almond flour ones. Well, I think we've tried these before and I wasn't, sh I can't remember how we felt about them, but I do know that we love the big burrito size ones. They come with less in them, but obviously they go a lot further six of them. So I'm going to grab two of these guys. Something I have never seen before are these things called puff buns. They're in the same section as like this gluten-free frozen bread section, right? Where they put the bread in the freezer to keep it better longer. None of this bread is like originally frozen, if that makes sense. Anyways, these are called puff buns. They're made with eggs and cream cheese. There's a ton of ingredients in them, I gotta be honest, but they are gluten-free. It says you just use them like a sandwich. So they've got garlic oh, herb, wow. cheddar, and original, and they're $5.99. It says you get eight pieces. So I would assume you'd get four sandwiches out of it. This is one of the burritos I was talking about that I was like, oh, you can find some vegan ones. These ones are actually gluten-free and vegan. Plant-based, it says. It's made with organic tofu, hash browns and veggies. It's a tofu scramble breakfast wrap by Amy's. And I have actually had these specific ones before and they're very good. I was very impressed. Also, they do make these like not gluten-free, not vegan, and they're also good. <laughs> they also have this tofu scramble met by Amy's. It's with organic tofu, vegetables and hash browns. And then they also have these Dr. Prager's hearty breakfast bowls. They're made with eggs, potatoes and cheddar cheese. They also have these breakfast sausage and uncured bacon bowls. I just feel like they have a, quite a few options here. They even have this Just Egg one where, if you guys have never tried the Just Egg, it's fairly good in my opinion. It's not like the best thing I've ever had, but it's basically pho egg. What we are going for is actually these um, frozen waffles right here. The Nature's Path Organic Gluten-Free Dark Chocolate Chip. And I'm also gonna grab some of these buckwheat wild berry ones. So these are organic, which is great in my opinion. They're gluten-free, egg-free. They do contain some corn and they also contain soy, but other than that, no dairy, no gluten, no eggs. So that's really hard to find in like pre-made waffles and stuff like that. And they actually taste really, really good. I'm still in the frozen aisle and lots of you guys have been begging me to talk about like the frozen Amy's dishes and stuff like that. So I have the organic ones all behind me and I'm gonna show you a few of them really quickly. We personally don't eat frozen meals like this. I just prefer to make things fresh, but I also have the luxury of time to do that. So I completely understand if this is something that you need to go for. There are definitely better options that you can make in the frozen food section. If you're not looking out for any allergens, but you're just looking for something with maybe better ingredients this evol brand i've heard is very good they also even have some simple truth stuff up here which they don't add a ton of stuff to the simple truth brand anyways they've got like a chicken enchilada bake we've got an unwrapped chicken egg roll bowl some truffle parmesan mac and cheese teriyaki chicken butternut sa squash and sage ravioli let's see what else do they have here some chipotle chicken mac and cheese which actually sounds incredible to me some portabella and goat cheese ravioli they also have some udi's gluten-free mac and cheese right here we've got the amy Amy's rice mac and cheese. I tried the Amy's one that's gluten free and vegan and it was okay for a frozen mac and cheese. But again, I would rather make things fresh. They also have some enchiladas right there. We've got like a tamale verde black bean. What would you call that? Oh my gosh. Um, it, well, it's a tamale. Okay, I'm losing it you guys. Anyways, this one is made with corn though. It is gluten free, but it's made with corn. So just watch out for that if you're watching out for corn. They've even got this vegan tortilla casserole with cheese. We've got a tortilla casserole with with black beans back there. They've got chili rellenos, some Mexican casseroles. They have some different kinds of bowls down here too, like a three cheese and kale bake. We've got some Asian dumplings, some Thai vegetables and rice, General Tso's chicken, which I'm assuming it's not actually chicken. It's, it looks like it's just cauliflower. Some brown rice, black eyed peas and veggies. 
a broccoli and cheddar bake. They even have a vegetable lasagna up here and some spaghetti Italiano. You do have to be careful with the Amy's ones because they're not always gluten-free. They, pr I, I'm pretty sure they're always plant-based just because I think that's what Amy's is. Again, check out for that too. But there are just some better options that you guys can choose from in the frozen food section if you do need a quick meal on the go. I've seen these a couple of times and I've always been tempted to get them. They just are kind of pricey, but these are called birthday dough bites. Basically, it's top eight allergen-free. So it's gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, all the good stuff that you're wanting to find. And it's covered in chocolate, just like little dough bites. They're on sale right now for $5.49, but regularly $6. They also have this kind here, which is double chocolate and this one which is chocolate chip they seem like they're pretty popular considering a couple of them are almost gone i also saw these right next door these are called sweet nothings i've never heard of these before basically they're a plant-based frozen spoonable smoothie comes with blueberries bananas beets cashews dates chia and flax okay honestly this thing is tiny for 339 it fits in the palm of my hand it wouldn't even be enough to feed a baby. I mean, if you're on the go and you need something that is made with good ingredients, this would definitely be a good stop for you. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but they do carry some Daya dairy-free cheesecakes right here. So they have this New York cheesecake and then they have the Key Lime cheesecake. Obviously they're dairy-free. I'm not sure if they're gluten-free though. Oh yeah, dairy and soy-free and gluten-free. So that's pretty cool quite a few ingredients but it does contain coconut but doesn't say it contains any eggs so this may be a great one if you need like a special occasion type of thing these were the other things that caught my eyes they're called naked they're frozen plant-based gluten-free cookie dough this one's ginger molasses this one's chocolate mint and this one is chocolate chip they're 6.99 a piece they apparently oh they also have a snickerdoodle one back there i don't know if you can see that Anyways, it says it's free from wheat, eggs, dairy, soy, and it's plant-based, so, and certified gluten-free. Here are the ingredients on the back. That might be a great idea. I'm not sure if you're supposed to cook these. Uh, yes, you can bake them, but I'm assuming you can probably also eat them raw. Tons of more stuff in the frozen section. They have this Alexia mashed cauliflower right here. So I've never seen this before. It's gluten-free though. It does contain milk, but it really doesn't have very many ingredients as you can see right there. They also have this cauliflower risotto, which is also gluten-free. This one also contains milk, but it's very hard to find gluten-free risotto. So if you're just looking out for gluten, that might be a great option for you. Looks like they also have a butternut squash risotto down here. And then we have some Dr. Prager's Southwest hash browns. I've never seen these before. I'm assuming they contain egg maybe? No, nope. looks like they're gluten-free. They're soy-free. Don't see any eggs in them. So that could be a great option for you guys. That one is usually $6.19, but it's on sale right now for $4.99. While we're over here, I'm actually gonna grab some frozen peas. Logie Bear loves peas so much. I usually just make them in a pot. I kind of boil them with like a tablespoon of water maybe because they kind of emit their own water. And then once they're done boiling, I'll add in like some spices, like so salt, garlic powder, and maybe even like some Italian spices and he goes crazy for them. Another great recipe to use peas along in, which is a great side. Fry up some bacon on the side and then fry up your peas kind of in the bacon after they're not frozen because you don't want to put something frozen in hot oil. Add in some salt, some garlic powder, some pepper, and some fresh mint that you've diced up. It is so good. Looks like I was a little bit too late to the party. These are the Alexia spicy sweet potato fries. They were on closeout for $2.47 and they're completely gone. Those ones are so good if you ever come across them, but we also really like these seasoned waffle cut fries by Alexia, and they're $3.29 a piece. So I'm gonna grab two of these guys, you know, now that we have a freezer in our garage that I can store these in. These are great if you just need a quick side to something. Very last thing on my list to grab is this super sweet organic corn right here on sale for $1.29 right now. So I'm gonna grab probably two cans of it. Logie Bear loves corn. Final cart time. Let me show you what I've got. We've got two cans of the salted corn. We have two things of these seasoned frozen waffle cup fries by Alexia. Two things of the Siete burrito size burritos. We have two things of frozen waffles, one in dark chocolate chip and one in buckwheat wild berry. We've got a thing of grapes. We have two things of blackberries, one thing of blueberries and some strawberries. We've got some Kite Hill Plain Cream Cheese 
a thing of organic frozen peas. We also have some spring roll wrappers. I'm so excited to make these this week. We also have a green bell pepper right here. And then underneath here, we've got four of these crushed sodas, which Derek will be so, so happy about. Hope you guys enjoyed that haul and you got some great ideas from the frozen section. The great thing about the frozen section as well is you don't have to buy the frozen food. You can even just use that as inspiration of what to make in your own home. So I spent $89 today. I felt like that was pretty good. We ended up saving 15, which is awesome. Awesome. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe before you go. I want you as a part of the family. See ya.